God bless, let's do it, touch gloves. Well, against a certain kind of opponent, uh, a good start from Mitchell. Linares trying to back him up now, get his own show on the road. And intelligent there from Mitchell, who's caught him with another left hand. But uh, nobody, including Kevin Mitchell, is suggesting, oh, that Linares, right suggesting Linares is another Estrada. And as you say, again. that right hand followed up by another one. So Linares started to find his range. Jorge Linares. Took a little while to get going in this opening session. In the press conference in the week, he said he would come here and steal the show. Well, Mitchell getting in with another one of those left hooks. Looking to land another one there as well. Mitchell maybe to be a bit more aggressive than he's been. Oh, a couple a bit, of good shots yeah. there, though. Again, he saves it for later in the round. Oh, that's good stuff from Linares here at Mitchell. Taking the full force of these. You know, he's, he's always ready to pounce. Good stuff there from Mitchell. Good plans against a counter puncher to get two and three. We'll see some of that as this warms up. Good stuff again from Mitchell. And again. Although single punches there, I think you're taking a chance against this guy. Good stuff there. Tough to make a case for Linares getting anything out of this round. Has hardly landed. And that should give Mitchell some confidence. He did land a big run. This is lead trainer. Mitchell looking to switch to the body. The hairline for Linares. In the scalp. Yeah, nice little cut on the scalp for Linares. Mitchell looks to get in there with a left hand. And the crowd enjoyed that. Got another one in. Nice work from Linares with the first one, but Mitchell saw the next two coming. Got out of the way. Oh, good body oh, shot. Left hook to the body right on the bell again. Circle for openings. A lot of upper body movement. Oh, he's got him! The big breakthrough comes from Mitchell. What an opportunity this is for Mitchell. Comes in with a left hook, the place goes crazy. Linares looking to try and regroup here. Mitchell loading up. Signs once again of the fragility of Jorge Linares and Mitchell looking to go to work again. Is he going to go for broke here? Against a counter puncher, you've got to put them together. Well, this has been a big round for him with a knockdown. But now Just... look at Linares coming back to Mitchell unable at the moment to build on that. Nice body shot in the switch upstairs. Be grouped here. Yeah, his legs are looking strong again, but the main thing is a good attack from him, but Mitchell knows he can hurt him. Got himself up in plenty of time, but there you go. That's the left hook that really has been working well for Mitchell tonight. Really, we'll have to start producing. Terrific from Mitchell, terrific. Linares calls him on, but Mitchell starting to let some punches flow and growing in confidence. Oh, that caught him. Take the initiative. He has a bit of leeway to make up. Big round for Mitchell. A terrific again from Mitchell. Yeah, nice the way he's putting punches together. That's really... He's frustrating Linares. Linares is the one who's having to force. Oh, terrific again. We've seen him box to orders before, as I said. I mean, you know, the last fight, okay, it was too easy for him, but he did exactly what he was told to do. And Tony Sims, three in the shape of Kevin Mitchell, who again does a terrific job of making Linares miss. And a lovely little combination. And I tell you, body language wise, this is the Kevin Mitchell we saw against Daniel Estrada. A little flurry from. His career had been squandered, but no, this is what we hoped for him. Great work again. And there's more damage around the Mitchell eyes. But he caught him with another one of those left hands. And Mitchell looking a little bit. Yeah, well, a good body shot here, too. Linares really starts to open up the champion. Mitchell needs a response. No, I think Mitchell needs to cover up, get his head clear, then respond. The champion and Mitchell is the man that has to do something about that. Needs a bit more of that. And he's not able to stop Linares in his tracks and missing there as well. And he continued to miss, but a left hand got through in the last few seconds. Yeah, but, but I think again, Mitchell's doing fine. Yep, he's, has he's he not been allowing, busy enough, Jim. Yep, he's not allowing Linares to really set anything up. Now, this is a tough round to score, this one. Very well indeed. But Linares is still there, still a threat. Oh, good still very hand. dangerous. 
Uh, looking to be the aggressor. Oh, with a big right hand, and Mitchell felt that, and he's in trouble. Covering up on the ropes. Lenares backs up, tries to measure him. Lance, terrific combinations. He's on top of him and bossing it. And this is dangerous times for Kevin Mitchell. As Lenares looking for the big opening here. Lenares trying to measure him, and Mitchell comes back. And just listen to that reaction from the crowd. Blood from the nose, cuts on both eyes, under pressure. And Mitchell still comes back. And Linares now is on the receiving end. What an effort this from Mitchell. Two real warriors we have now. But this is a big round so far for Linares. A huge oh, round. Is, and he's got him again and down he goes. It's been coming. He's up very slowly, 20 seconds left. They've got to get him back to that corner. He's got to get through this round and it's waved off. Victor Lachlan has waved it off. Jorge Linares celebrates with his team. Kevin Mitchell could not have put any more into that. From start to finish, we got the clever stuff early, the tactics. Then two warriors appeared and produced a terrific spectacle. It just wasn't to be for Kevin Mitchell tonight, was it? Despite that terrific effort. But Jorge Linares has come from behind to stop the Dagenham man and hang on to his WBC lightweight title. And the finish was ugly. The winner by TKO victory and still the reigning and defending world champion from Venezuela, Jorge Linares.